Mm, gracias. Switch to kinds. Hey guys, long time no see. It has been like 30 days since we last posted. Sorry we've been MIA, life happens. Um, if you don't know, we work full time. We try to play part time. We've been snowboarding and really not camping all that much. <laughs> but what have we got into this weekend? Oh man, it's been a long week. We busted out, drove about four hours to our favorite fishing spot, hit the gas station, got the Odell's um, variety pack. Kate's drinking some Hazer Tag at the moment. We made it to our camp spot before the sun, well, as the sun was going down, and I rigged a rod, jetted to the river, and banged one uh, right off the uh, headlamp. Uh, it, was, it was about dark, but we'll show you that. That was cool. So that's a sign of the weekend. I think it's going to be a spicy weekend for fishing. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We're going to get up early. We're going to cook some breakfast. And uh, we're going to pretty much fish all weekend. I think it's going to be like 70, 72 degrees in March in the Rockies, which it's going to be on fire, I think. It's going to be a good weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping for a sunburn. <laughs> but I guess for now, I'll just have to beat you in cards. Yeah. So we're going to play cards and probably enjoy our Friday night, and uh, we'll see you in the morning on uh, some flapjacks. because this time it was only five casts before Chris caught another fish. Shoot, he's on him, man. What do you think a man's plan is? At least I was not responsible for netting that one, but don't worry guys, it'll only be five more casts of mine before Chris gets another one. Stand to lose a couple.
I'm like, oh, we live in the wrong place. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So last night ended a little bit abruptly. Instead of coming back here and cooking where we ended up camping, we went out to eat, had a couple beers, and ended the night very quickly. I think we were in bed by like 8 p.m. We got firewood, didn't even have a fire, but that's okay. Before all that happened, we went artifact hunting with a buddy up here. Yeah. So there's a buffalo jump area and so basically there's a lot of Native American finds. They found a lot of arrowheads and tools that are used. And so we just went out with them and kicked some dirt and walked around. It was very cool to learn about, you know, that side of history and really physically see it in person. And so we found like some little stones that have tool markings and rough edges. So we got this one, we got another one. So who's to say, right? Like what these were used for, if at all, but it's just interesting to think about. And I, I think that I would have thought it had to be a perfect arrow, right? For it to be considered like a Native American artifact or tool. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are just really smooth and you can just see, we'll give you some cool little shots of these, but um, yeah, they're just smooth with the rough edges. So it's just interesting to learn that because I, I don't think I would have known what I was looking for if it wasn't for them. What'd you find, bud? We found, a, we actually, my buddy found a full arrowhead. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, While we're out there, it was amazing. Yeah, and this, this area is so rich with history with the Pony Express and the Oregon Trail runs right through this area and there's an actual buffalo jump there. So I don't know <clears throat> if it's actual hunting or conflict with the American settlers and the Native Americans. This is this is um, Arapaho, Cheyenne, Crow, Miniconju, heavy Indian country. So all sorts of different types of area, arrowheads from different eras. And we actually picked up a full arrowhead, which is crazy. But the cool thing I picked up was this is an actual buffalo jaw from the jump. And it looks like literally preserved wood. I think the last time there was a buffalo shot in this area was 1900. Yeah. So, I mean. Wasn't the last buffalo, free range buffalo shot here? In like 1920, they said? I don't know, though there's one famous Theodore Roosevelt documented one in this area that was around 1900, but you gotta assume it's somewhere in the 1800s, which is insane and pretty well preserved. It's like fossilized. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely fossilized. But anyways, no, it was, I got a passion for that kind of stuff. So we kind of stopped fishing and went on a little hunt and look forward to doing more of that type of stuff up here. But fishing, we did pretty good. Oh God. <laughs> you were trying to take stats today just to get a rough idea of how many we hooked up. It was virtually nonstop. It was, it was amazing. Um, more, big, th more than big we can fish ask for. Too. Big fish, it was, big fish, it, was yeah. it was really good. Yeah. But then we came back here, fell asleep super early. Um, I did end up getting a sunburn, but unfortunately that of the farmer's variety. So that's unfortunate. I could have told you that was gonna happen probably. Uh, we laid down, furnace was working just fine. Woke up in the middle of the night and the propane light on the furnace box was blinking red. So Chris went outside, it was pretty cold in the high 30s I think. Chris went outside, changed out the for, uh, the propane just to make sure it wasn't like a propane issue and still would not light that pilot light, like to kick on. Anyway, so it was a very cold night. Uh, we'll probably have to troubleshoot that a little bit because it was being quite finicky this morning even when we were trying to get it to go. Um, the, but, light, the light was blinking on the, yeah. on the monitor 
Which I'm, I, I, I was thinking, and this may be completely wrong, is that that's an indicator of an issue. lack of propane because it should alarm if there is a gas leak. Yeah. So I think it was a... Uh, a connection issue? Well, I swapped the propane tanks out last night and... Uh, it still wasn't firing. It's up. working now. I don't oh, know. Yeah. We're going to have to do some research. <laughs> Let us know if you've run into this problem with your four-wheel camper for sure. We'd appreciate the comments uh, just to help us out a little bit. I looked into, at like three in the morning, looked into a, again, I think it was the Wander the West blog, which is amazing, but there was a lot of mixed results there. But yeah, at least it wasn't alarming. Uh, thank goodness we have the thermal pack on the inside, so I think that cut some of the cold, but I think we're going to try somewhere new today. Get a quick fish in before we head home. Yeah, yeah, huh. something, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Maybe and a new area. Yeah, if you see no footage beyond this, that means that we didn't have any success. But happy Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whenever this goes up to you all. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.